This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Blueface Mom Carlissa was on Instagram Live absolutely dragging Blueface's dad. And uh, he responded to Red Wine and Gossip's post saying, she sounds so stupid. She needs to go sit down somewhere. Nobody cares what you think, clown. Her marriage is falling apart while chasing online clout. So the reason that I posted this was to show you guys, this is what has caused Carlissa to be going off in this Instagram live. And I gotta say, she absolutely went in on this man. And after all the things that she said about him, I'm wondering why Blueface still chose him over her. Listen to this. Hate to always have to come at such terrible circumstances. But there's some liars in this world, boy. There's some liars out here, chow. <laughs> that ninja couldn't tell y'all what junior high or high school my son went to. The only reason he know what college he went to is because I invited him. I was nothing but nice to you. I've never spoke anything down or negative. I never told your son you was a bum ass, homeless ass, drunk ass. I never told my son what you really was and what you was really about. And then he had to find out the hard way when you robbed him. Robbed him. Well, Carlissa, we are definitely going to have to see some receipts because that's a pretty serious accusation without receipts. So, yeah, like, I want to see the receipts. Literally robbed him. I'm going to interview your family. I'm going to interview JC, and I'm going to interview Suzette. I'm going to interview your daughters, too. We don't let the people know. I don't know why y'all keep trying to come for me and my character. Wow, that's messy, messy, messy. You're going to have his daughter on there. You're going to have your, <laughs> you're actually going to interview his daughter. Like, it's common sense. I did a job. I got the high school diploma. Ask him if he was the daddy. Why don't he got it? My daddy got mine. Your daddy got yours, right? <laughs> I got the high school diploma. All three of them upstairs. Ain't nobody asked for him. Ain't nobody asked for a copy of him. He couldn't tell you what my son's GPA was when he graduated. I included him and involved him like a mother should. That man literally sat in my face and told me he couldn't stand that girl. And she was going to take his son down. That's why he up over there. Now tell the lady the truth. You don't like her. You don't like what she stand for. Tell her what you told me and Jaden when we went over there. Oh my God, Carlissa. Carlissa. She is definitely big mad. She's big mad. But I would love to hear from Blueface's dad. I want to hear his side of all this. Stop faking and stop lying. If I start posting your real ass text messages, letting her know how you really feel about her. Why you really up over there. Now, Carlissa, post the messages. Post the messages. We're waiting. We're waiting patiently. It's just becoming a nuisance. Now, if you wanted some clout, you could have just asked for it. I would have just gave you some. You ain't seen them other daughters of yours or them other grandkids of yours in a month, a year of Sundays. Because you don't give a fuck about them because they ain't got no clout and they ain't got no money. Who have a whole daughter and don't with that babe, grandbaby, but you over there with Riri messing with her. Good job, Prashan, not giving him no clout, girl. As soon as you give it to him, he going to rob your ass just like he did his own son. Good job not posting his page and giving him what he want. Because I ain't posting it neither. I would have just gave you the shit. Well, Carlissa, you coming on here doing this live is going to give him a whole lot of clout. So what is this really all about? When my son graduated high school, he was on my husband's, my husband's, make sure y'all get this now, because if I got to go pull the records, I will, on my husband's medical and dental insurance. Now, why the f*** are you anywhere near anybody asking for anything if my husband that you say is getting ready to leave me? Like I said, guys, this is why she really mad. I'm going to read it again. Blueface dad said, sounds so stupid. She needs to sit down somewhere. Nobody cares what you think. Her marriage is falling apart while chasing online clout, shaking my head. So he exposed that her marriage is falling apart. That's why she's mad. That's why she's mad.
or you anywhere near anybody asking for anything, if my husband that you say is getting ready to leave me, had your child on medical and dental, paying for your son's medical and dental, we just trying to figure out where the hell you, which rock you done crawled up out of. Now, we know you were stand up over there with them, with that illegal immigrant lady most of your life trying to trick that lady into doing what you say do to get her them papers. You didn't love that lady neither. You were just over there trying to have her be a slave, an illegal immigrant slave for you. I talked to the lady. I know what you did to her. Up over there making her do all this, this and that for you, cause so she could get some fucking illegal, some legal paperwork. Shame on you for coming on here trying to talk badly about me, knowing that you thanked me, thanked me and honored me for raising your child to be such a good stand-up citizen and getting him a college degree and getting him what your mama didn't get you. But considering the things that Carlissa has said about this man, this is nothing. She's over there calling him a fruit bowl, talking about why he's wearing nail polish, all kinds of stuff. And she's just mad at this. She's mad at this little thing. I don't know. Maybe there's some truth to it. I don't know. Allegedly. I don't know. Allegedly. Now, his mama left him at 15 years old in a house, an empty, abandoned house. She left him there. And his daddy was a kid. So why it, it, he lucked up on me because he had a big so-and-so and a fake ass I'll be sure smile. OK, and I felt bad for him at the time. Now, Carlissa, in another live, you said it was little, but in this live, you're saying it was big. And I have the Instagram live. So which is it? And what do you do it? <laughs> but don't get on here and try to act like you was on my level. Nigga, you wasn't nowhere ever allowed, nowhere I was at or my kids was at. Now get on here and tell these people the truth on here talking about my husband leaving me. If my husband leave me, who gonna pay? Who gonna pay for your son's uh, dent uh, dental and uh, insurance that just fell off when he turned 28? Now don't make me get on here and tell the truth. You don't know where my son went to school in junior high. You can't tell these people what insurance I used to have his knee fixed. And I didn't just have my son knee fixed, y'all. I had my son knee fixed at UCL. So if you know, you know. So then why would you marry a man that is not on your level? I need to know. I really need to know. Okay, he didn't go to the little Cigna plan, the little with the Medi-Cal. No, sir. <laughs> we had good insurance then too. Okay, my son got his knee fixed at UCLA. Now ask that did he talk to anybody in the billing department? Which person did you talk to? Okay, because every time they brought a bill, your ass ran out. This showed up, no lie, my right hand, left hand to God. Showed up to get my baby circumcised with some piggy bank. It was only $150. He showed up with a piggy bank and then tried to argue with me about getting my tubes tied. I'm not never having another kid for somebody to show up with a piggy bank full of coins to get the circumcision for $150. You're done. We're done having children here. So yes, I got my tubes tied. And he, because he was my husband, he tried to argue with me and tell me he wasn't signing that paper and his sister signed it for me. Hello, somebody. So yes, my tubes were tied. Yes, you wasn't no getting no more kids out of me. You was right. They was tied. <laughs> so why did you offer up yourself to get your tubes to be tied? Why didn't you have him get clipped carlissa this is how you met him you didn't know jokes on you mother you wasn't getting no more sons out of me you couldn't pay for the first one okay i had to find somebody to help do that okay you're illiterate your family's illiterate you came from illiterate stock stop acting like you somebody you not now i ain't never ever said nothing bad about you in front of my son because i didn't want him to know he came from a piece of background now, I did you a favor. I let you come stay at my house when you was homeless, even though I had a man in there. My son said, my daddy outside in the car and he ain't got nowhere to go. And it's cold outside. I let you come and get in my son's twin bed with him. Now, my other kids can vouch for this because they was there too. I let your ass come into my house and you get on the internet and try to dog somebody that let you lay your ass down. My husband upstairs sleep. We finna celebrate our eighth anniversary. We ain't going nowhere. We the only is in the circus with stability, okay? We the only 
kids that's watching this whole play out because we've been there for all our kids the whole way through. My husband didn't even have matching socks when I met him paying just child support and letting them and one of the kids live with him. Okay, that's what real men do. Now, I don't know what the Jonathan daddy was running around doing, but he wasn't doing what my husband was doing. Okay, I met my husband in Jonathan's junior year of high school. He immediately put him on his medical and his dental so that my son could go to college like the rest of the people with medical insurance and dental insurance. So somebody could keep on talking they shit and keep on walking. But my husband know the truth. And that's the only person in this world and him and God that matter. Okay, my husband, I've been to the prison to visit my son that's in jail and didn't even know him when he went to jail. Let's talk about where his wife is at, okay? Where your wife at? And she is not done yet. She is now going to have a go at Blueface's wife. I don't know if that's his ex-wife or what. Now you running around here with some woman that got three kids. And you told me that woman, you knew that woman was with you for the blue face clout. You knew that woman don't really like you. You know it. You using her for a little bit of here and there. You know it. You told me that out your own mouth, my right hand of God. You got her a place in Vegas, and it was too far from the blue face clout. So she left you, moved back to Sacramento. Now, how I know in business if you didn't tell me? Now, keep talking, and I'm going to keep talking. Now, if you don't get on here and start telling these the truth, I'm going to start telling them the truth. I'm going to pull out them child support bills that your ass was going to go to jail for until they took your taxes. Now, I'm such a G about it. When they took his taxes and put that child support on that card, I gave it to Jonathan. Jonathan went to college with about $5,000 on a card that his daddy had to pay back child support. I didn't keep your money. I had a real ass husband that don't let me keep other niggas money. Okay, I gave your son that car. So if you want to be mad at somebody about the child support, boo, you need to be mad at your son. He put you on child support. He went down there and told him people your name when you disappeared for the 99th time. And it was time for him to go to prom and you wasn't showing up with. Shit. But you're going to get on here and talk your talk about a woman that got your son all the way to college when all your homeboys kids didn't get to go, didn't get no scholarship, no matter how big, how strong or how tall they was or how long they actually threw the ball with your son and you, you didn't do but i got your son up out the hood and off to college yes i did and you thanked me for that back then but what you're doing now does not represent who you are or what you're going through so i'm gonna let you have a pass for you to get you some clout you do what you gotta do but baby when i got my clout i told the truth i don't have nothing to look back on okay ain't no wendy williams in my skeleton in my closet whatever i said happened Okay, I, I'm not going to lie for the clout. So for you to get on here and lie for the clout and not be real about it, you got to be a fool. It's only going to take about five minutes before WAC posts that paperwork. So I have just looked on WAC 100's account. And as of the recording of this video, he has yet to post any receipts. That you stole and robbed your son of $100,000. Okay, who steals from their own son, then go up over there and tell them, I'm going to live here and take care of the dogs in the house. Motherfucker, you better. You got 100000 before he even signed his deal, never even told him about it. We not the same, bro. We not going to never be the same. I don't steal from my kids. I give to my kids, okay? That's why we ain't going to never be the same. I know your mama left you at 15 in the abandoned building. For you to starve and fend for yourself. But I wasn't that mother. I gave your son a good ass house. A good ass life. Your son lived in a million dollar house. When he graduated. Okay. Your son went to junior high school from a million dollar crib. We never ever saw you once. Okay. We never saw you once. You got it. You, you took him to play football in your area. I let y'all have a year of football. He got his knee hurt at your house. You didn't even have insurance. To take my son to get his knee fixed. Let's talk about it. Who got your, who got my son knee fixed after you let him get hurt and let it linger for like six months? They told my son he could never play sports again. You know what I did? I went over to UCLA and I got the best doctor. I paid the deductible. I got the special insurance. I did the white people shit and my baby's knee fixed. You know what that did? Cried. 
showed up and cried because they said he couldn't play no more. You know what I did? I swung that knee by the church house after I let the human people fix it. And I let Jesus put an anointing on it. And my son played the rest of his whole high school, all, all through college. No, no problems at all. You couldn't do that. You know why you couldn't do that? Because you're not saved. You didn't do that because you're not baptized. You don't even know where your son got baptized, do you? You don't even know what church your son got baptized in. How does a parent not know their child got baptized? You don't know what junior high school I put him in. You don't even know what grades he graduated with. You just was happy to show up and take him because I allowed you because I had to work. I allowed you to go to his college visit so y'all could have a moment together. Did I not do that for you when my son wanted me to go and I had to work? You know why I had to work? Because grownups work. I don't know what you were doing out selling your t-shirts or whatever you was doing. It wasn't paying no bills. It didn't pay no rent. And you, your mother was over there using uh, y'all Mexicans need to know this he used Molly the maid okay he used that until she was dry to the bone tricked her and helped dangle that paperwork over her head I'm gonna get you your citizenship I'm gonna get you your citizenship it took about 10 years for that to actually give her that citizenship because she wised up and was gonna go get from another okay she he went and got to her that citizenship but it took about 10 years of treating that like Molly the maid. Now ask me how I know because I spent the night at a hotel with her and his mama convincing her to stay with him so that he could get his weekends at her house and continue to visit his son and not be homeless. That's how I know. Now wherever she at, my right hand to God, you can ask that woman, okay? I have always been team him try to get your shit to, so you don't embarrass my son amongst other men. Now I did that for you. Now you want to hop on here because Rock ain't posting your because she ain't giving you no shout out and try to take it from me. So Carlissa wants us to believe that Blueface's dad is not getting any clout off Krishan. So that's why he responded under this post, calling her a clown, calling out her marriage, basically just calling her out. So he is doing that to get clout off her name. That's what... She's saying, what do you guys think about that? You was over there with Jaden. Then all of a sudden, now you switching up. No, I didn't never switch up. No, no. Jaden got mad at me and went with me. So I'm like, Jim, me. there's no reason for me to have sit here and, and, and pretend like she with me. What's your name is, baby? Oh, your name, Krishan. OK, how you doing? Mm, no, 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 no. Carlissa has been doing some serious flip flopping. We've all seen it. And my son will tell you, even behind the scenes, I told him, you can't move this lady in here while that other lady pregnant that's evil and is demonic. Okay? I didn't just let her just come in like you over there pretending to be grandpa daddy. You won't f with her. She this. She dragging your son down. She that. We had a whole conversation before you tricked me into taking you to my son's house after you robbed him. Okay, somebody, let's talk about it. I did tell my son, that's your father. I don't care how much money he took from you. You can ask whack. This is the God's honest truth. I ain't going to never lie for no clout. I'm going to get my clout off these circuits telling the truth on me. Okay? Because who leaves their 15-year-old in an apartment and runs off with a woman? His mama. Not his son's mama. His mama. Your son had a damn good mama. I fought the whole way through for your son. Y'all going to stop playing with my name because God, obviously God ain't listening to what y'all saying because I'm still elevating. <laughs> That's exactly what Krishan said in her Instagram live yesterday that she was elevating. And now Carlissa is saying that she is also elevating. So, you know what? We can just guess that Carlissa was in Krishan's Instagram live yesterday and got some inspiration. I'm not over there changing the dog. You are. Okay. I'm not over there pretending to be grandpa. You are. Stay in place for a potion. Sorry fake tax returns and your child support bill stay in your place well get on here talking about my husband leaving me i rebuke that in the name of jesus <laughs> we are going on eight years of stability we are not you we're not your son we're not andre we ain't none of y'all okay we done fought through this storm together we done been together six kids he got three i got three a crazy ass circus ass brady bunch but we the problem you mother running around here doing weird but we the problem okay um yeah so we'll be celebrating all of our, all of april 
because that's our eighth anniversary year. And um, <laughs> when your old ass wrinkle up and sizzle away, I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear it because <laughs> we already know <laughs> how, how we already know what it's going to do. OK, your daddy's a your mama left you <laughs> to be with another woman. She's still with that woman. I'm, I'm assuming that's why she left you because your ass was weird. Um, Cause who leaves their fifteen year old child? <laughs> this don't got a don't got a high school diploma. Didn't graduate high school. You don't. You, you we not the same. We don't have the same ethics. We didn't come from the same. Okay, you're nobody in L.A. You've been nobody in L.A. You know she's saying all these things about this man, but like I said before, she's saying that he was never on her level. But yet she chose to marry him, have a child with him. What was that all about? Why would you, Carlissa, <laughs> marry this man that is not on your level? Make it make sense. And in my opinion, all the stuff that she's talking about that she did as a mother, she was supposed to do because she was a mom. I mean, I really don't get it. You always going to be nobody in LA. You're going to be blue face, blue face son forever. Okay. Who the fuck? It's just the simple fact that y'all on here talking to me about a that. <laughs> Stole a hundred thousand dollars from his son before he could even sign his deal. My son can't even sign his deal comfortably because he had to go have whack muscle these out of the damn money that they were stealing in the paperwork. Come on now, I ain't never stole none in my life since I was about eighteen years old. I stole some nail polish. I don't steal. My kids don't steal. My my son ain't even like you. So um yeah, that's the tea for the day. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish enjoying my man and my husband. Okay. I did almost lose them last night. I ain't gonna lie. Almost, 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 almost f***ed up last night. But it's cool. We still in the game. All right. So you guys heard what she had to say. She is a big, big mad. She is mad. And you heard what she just said at the end there where she was talking about her husband. But yet the entire live, she was basically responding to Blueface's father saying that her marriage is falling apart and she pretty much admitted there that there's something going on in her marriage so um yeah that's the tea for the day <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and finish enjoying my man and my husband okay i did almost lose them last night i ain't gonna lie almost 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 f***ed up last night but it's cool we still in the game and i mean like her husband does put up with a lot that man has a lot of patience but during the Instagram live, a lot of people were tagging Blueface's dad and they wanted him to come into the comments and say something, but he didn't. But he did post on his Instagram. He said, have a good Friday. We all good over here, y'all. He also said, we good, y'all. And um, he said in this third Instagram live, team House of Blues VIP members only showing his blue nail polish that Carlissa has made fun of in her Instagram lives. So it seems to me like he is basically treating the situation how Carlissa was treating the situation with Dre, where Carlissa was telling everyone to give Dre a mental health pass. I think that blue face dad is giving Carlissa a mental health pass as well. By basically just saying, we good, y'all. And basically just saying, have a good Friday. We all good over here. He <laughs> And even showing the prayer hands. I don't think that he's going to engage her. Don't hold your breath for him to go on Instagram Live and respond. But if he does, I will certainly let you guys know. Okay. I was just about to go and I noticed that Papa Blueface has come with a clap back. He posted a picture of him and Chris Sean and the caption said, Blues trusted team standing on business. If you have been denied all access to the circus, then you can't be trusted. And I'm guessing this is towards Carlissa. And the song that's playing here is Disrespectful by Blueface. And sadly, I can't play the song on YouTube. But I, but I will definitely put a link to the song in my description. But my question is, if what Clarissa is saying is true, 
and she's saying that this man is a thief and he's a this and he's a that. I mean, he is living in Blueface's house. He has entrusted him to live there. All of the things that Carlissa has said that he has done, um, I, I don't know. I think that Carlissa needs to produce some receipts. So let me know what your thoughts are on what Carlissa had to say. And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any hot tea for me, definitely message me on Instagram. I am now on Snapchat. So if you're on Snapchat, add me, follow me. I love you guys. Bye. Oh,